work is really about the internet, and I'm fascinated juxtaposing the internet to physical reality. I'm using computer code as choreography. What if HTML would be interpreted by dancers instead of web browsers? So another piece, HTML Buto, uh, a turbul turbulent commission. Um, I basically, I asked dancers and non-dancers alike to come up with a movement vocabulary of the HTML language. So how does it work? Well, a PHP program goes out and replaces the HTML code of the top Global 500 websites. Every day a new with HTML movement videos, which still everybody can submit to the library. Here is some other sort of computer code as choreography, more like code as blueprint for building website wigs in which I'm braiding the HTML code of websites into the hair of wigs. For a while now I have been interested in uh, using uh, live data for uh, choreography in performances. Uh, a piece uh, commissioned by the Whitney Museum for Artport, uh, Light and Dark Network, consists of two online data performances which are choreographed by New York City weather and CO2 data. Uh, a mushroom mycelium and a spider web, and I'm playing both the mushroom and the spider, um, appear uh, all over the Whitney website uh, twice a day and uh, take over the site for 30 seconds each, one at sunrise and one at sunset. And um, so based on the weather data, different JavaScripted animations and videos are getting pulled in. So we see the sunrise here and um, specific wind direction and wind speed will blow the spider web in a corner of the browser window and uh, sunset for instance uh, CO2 data changes the amount how many uh, mushroom videos will grow. So how about using uh, Facebook's internal logic for content for performances? In Facebook reenactments uh, created as a, at a residency at location one, I reenacted on video the Facebook photos of my co-resident, Jessica Curry, and 30 of her 100 namesakes, and here are four of them. Thank you so much.